Hey guys, Zix here. Time for another episode of Mind Saga Skyblock. Today we're going to take a little look at the pug creature to see what we can see. Uh, but first, we're going to, I'm going to show you our mob coin setup so that you have an idea of what it is that we do. Because um, my suggestion, if you're going to use the pug creature, you might as well get mob coins at the same time. Now you can... Right, blazes. I had blazes in here before. Someone removed them, but that's okay. We weren't using them anyway. You can fight blazes, uh, and this is my blaze setup. Um, normally, there would be a block right here to, or about, up one more to keep them from falling through, and this obviously wouldn't be open. Somebody opened it up to take the blazes out of it. Whatever. You're gonna want. As I always say, keep your stuff in one chunk because if you're smart like we are, um, you'll throw cell wands into your setup. Come on, guys. Come on. Keep the island clean, man. Anyway, you're going to set up voids with T2s or T3s without voids if you have them because everything you kill can make you money. Uh, so, let's just say no creature out. I took away my experience so that we could have a look-see. One kill, two kills, three kills gives us one level. Uh, I didn't get any mob coins, but that's okay. Also, this is a sharpness five sword. A sharpness four sword will suffice to, to kill pigs in one shot. So we're going to load the pug. Look at that cutie. Look at the cutie. And we're going to take our XP, and we're going to bottle XP 8. <laughs> Cannot forest energy less than 20. Well, three hits gave us 8 XP, okay? <laughs> so now we're going to do three more hits. One, two, three. Now we have 15. We got less. So the pug creature is supposed to increase XP. Let's try it again. One, two, three, twenty-one. Oh, okay. My mistake. The more you get, the uh, slower it comes in. So let's remove that. And now we'll go one, two. It's not giving me more XP. You have five XP. Hmm. Well, let's remove him. And, um, twelve. Now I got seven. Sixteen. Eighteen. Yeah, it's definitely slower. I guess I just got lucky that first one, huh? Twenty-two. Bottle XP twenty-two. Look at me spotlighting the creature, and it doesn't work. One, two, three. This time I got six. Okay, so it's pretty random. Basically, and by the way, you can call them without, you don't have to go into the creatures menu. You do have to go into the creatures menu to recall them, which stinks. Oh, they look really funky on an angle. Oh, that looks so weird. Straighten up. Straighten out. Move. Move it. Okay, there we go. Oh, that looks much better. <laughs> that looks so weird on an angle. Let me see if I can do it again. Looks like he's all broken. Move it. Come on, follow me. Let's see, now it's fine. Maybe it was just a weird visual glitch. Anyway, you're going to sit here and you're going to farm your mob coins. Um, and you're going to get extra XP with the pug out. That's the purpose of the pug. Now, my pug, I don't use him. Um, but he's level 1. Um, now, you can get him up to level 20. You get him up to level 20, I'm sure you'll actually notice a difference with the experience. I'm not going to waste my time leveling him up. Experience is not a very important to me. I rely on other means to make my money um, in the form of farms. So this is not important to me. You see, there it is. Look how funky that looks. It looks so funky. It looks like he's, his hind legs are broken. Um, however, you can sell bottled XP. Uh, if you take a look, not shop. If you take a look, if you take a look at AH, it's almost always, yeah, see, now I, I say that and there's none in here. 50 million for a T3. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your Vulcan mind? See, now there's none in here. Um, but 
1.5 million XP. I just rounded it. I would round it up to 1.6 if I was you. Equals to a common. Equals to a common experience key. 400 levels is 1.5 something something something. I just say do 1.6. Anyway, let's get our XP back. Here's the big one. Let's remove El Puggo. Goodbye. Goodbye. And now. Oh, also, um, I have a new minion tower. This is my new minion tower. It's more it's more efficient. I don't want to show it because it's not my design and I don't have permission to exactly show it, but uh, it's significantly more efficient than the previous one, and I'll see if I can get permission to show it to you guys. Uh, but for now, uh, again, not my design. Look what we got here. Leviathan. Of course, you already know I'm going to fight the Leviathan. You read the title. Um, I need a... I don't know... I actually don't know what this boss is. I don't know how big of a spot I need. Uh, I want to say it's um, foe. I want to say it's a large... Oops, that's not what I wanted. No, I want to say it's a large zombie. I don't actually know that for certain, but that's what I think. That's what I think from what I've heard in the past. In which case, I probably don't need a huge platform here. But I'm going to do it anyway. Actually, you know what? Actually, I don't want you falling. All right. You guys ready? <laughs> He's huge. He's huge! There's my screenshot. Oh, he zomb spawns normal zombies. Uh, F1. There we go. 1500 experience. This is a fire sword. Whatever, who cares. Alright, what do you got, buddy? Oh, this is gonna take a minute. <laughs> I really wish the bosses damaged you. Oh, his, his hitbox goes all the way up here, huh? Because if the bosses damaged you, there would be actual challenge to them. This is... I mean, it's... The hitbox is kind of weird. He's fall, he's, he's going to fall. He's, you're a little big to be falling off, buddy. There you go. <laughs> he's so big. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. Um, I actually I bought this from a player in-game. Um... Holy cow. <laughs> Look at all those zombies down there. I wonder if this could be used as like a way to get income. Do these guys have drops? Yeah. But I mean, what really good is... I mean, yeah, they're not really worth anything. Where are you? This thing is huge! He's huge! I would love to see this thing fighting back. You know, that's not a terrible idea for a suggestion. Um, a realm to fight bosses. Uh, because maybe they shouldn't hurt you on your island, but maybe they could create a realm that you could go to that's connected to your island, and you could spawn these guys. That would make them more interesting to me. Um, I mean, the Ender Mage would still be absurdly easy because you could just stand under you know a three block thing uh, i mean a two block in a two block hole um but like other bosses like this for example and the wither king what do we get what do we get for our hard work we get two iron golem spawners and 32 blocks of diamond oh don't forget two rotten flesh <laughs> what a joke all righty um you're gone, Kong. Yeah, sad news. Kong has left the island. Um, not for any reason except he needs to focus on studies his real life. He will be missed. He was a valued member of our team. Um, we're going to miss him. But uh, yeah, moving on. We are not going to fill his spot for now. Um, technically, I think he still shows... 
No, he left. No, he's still there. He's still there. We're not going to fill his spot for now. Um, I'll just leave him there. Because we grew really fast. And while I trust all the guys we got, um, when you grow really fast, you increase the percentage chance of getting incited. Uh, so uh, we're going to stay at 9 for now. Um, uh, until, you know, until I say otherwise. Uh, eventually, I'm sure, you know, no, we're not going to keep the same team forever. People will leave. Uh, but no worries. Um, other than that, um, I'm going to pause it. Uh, get cleaned up. Uh, I didn't keep track of the time. Like I forgot to hit the start button on my stopwatch. So I'm going to see how much time is left, and then we'll see how else to fill the episode. Be right back. And we're back. And we have a few more minutes, and I wasn't done talking about the creatures slash pets anyhow. So when you pull out your creature, it's important to watch not only the experience, but the hunger. When the hunger reaches zero, the pet is going to go away for a little while. I call it starving. Um, but I think maybe to keep it PG, we'll call it resting. When the hunger goes back up a little bit, you could bring it back out, but you're better off to just wait until it gets back to 100. Here is the important thing to keep in mind. If you are not online, the hunger is not regenerating. The hunger only regenerates while you are online. So if you bring your pug to zero and you log off and you log back on the next day, expecting it to be at 100, it will not. It will still be at zero. So it's very important um, that you plan accordingly. And when you're not using a pet, you're gonna wanna bring them in. You're gonna wanna bring them home. You're gonna wanna clear them. Uh, or else, again, you're gonna be using the hunger unnecessarily. So today we talked about the pug. The next couple of days, I'm going to be highlighting a different creature. Um, still debating on whether or not to buy the other creatures that I need. I currently own a chimp and I own a frog. Uh, the chimp I'm going to do tomorrow. But however, the frog Dixie Rose is planning on doing a video on to show you guys how the frog works and what it does and what good it's for. I'm going to give you a link in the description to Dixie's channel, so please Go take a look at her. Uh, I imagine most of my subscribers are already subscribed to her since both of our subscribers have mostly come from the same place. However, if you like what you see, please send her a like and a subscription. Uh, she could certainly use the help, as could I. Um, with that said, not only am I going to be highlighting a creature, in each episode the next few days i'm also going to be doing something else like today we fought we fought the leviathan boss which i thought was pretty cool <laughs> i mean the reward was horrendously bad uh but the leviathan was pretty cool um hold on make sure fast play that. this is driving me nuts i can't i can't take it no more you know i guess i could have just used a bucket Tomorrow, we're going to take a look at my spawners. That's right. You heard me. I'm going to show you what... Stop burning. I am going to show you what we are working with as far as uh, how many spawners I have. How many iron golems. What the heck is this? How many iron golems? How many villagers? Um, this is ridiculous. Put this here. Oops. <laughs> Oops. Where are they going? Is there a T3 somewhere here? And I can't fly. Here we go. Well, that was a little weird. Anyway, tomorrow I'm going to show you what, how many spawners I have. Uh, you want to know why my alt is sending me so much money? I'm going to show you that tomorrow. Um, but with that said, that is going to end this episode. Thank you guys so very much for watching. And as always, take it easy.